So you're heading out boating on the Great Barrier Reef? Well, I've got some good news to make sure that you have the best time. Did you know that the Great Barrier Reef has a system of public moorings and reef protection markers? These protect areas of delicate coral and other sensitive habitats from being damaged by anchors. Public moorings are in place along the Great Barrier Reef coastline from the Keppel Islands in the south right up to iconic Lizard Island and the Cod Hole in the north. Public moorings are available for any boaties to use and on a first come, first served basis. So get in early and make sure you tie up on the correct mooring. Depending on the size of your boat, different types of public moorings are available to use. You can identify public moorings by the blue plastic float, usually with a coloured band of information on the buoy and a plastic tag detailing important information about the mooring. When approaching to pick up a mooring, motor up into the conditions, so into the wind or current, very slowly and being careful not to run over the pickup line. Use a boat hook to retrieve the pickup line. You'll see on the mooring tag that there's a time limit indicated. They're usually two hours, four hours, or maybe up to 24 hours. For all moorings though, if you pick up the mooring on or after three in the afternoon, you're welcome to stay overnight until nine the next morning. When you leave the mooring, motor ahead gently just to slacken the tension on the lines. Drop the line well clear of your vessel and reverse away from the mooring line and buoy. White pyramid shaped marker buoys are also in place at many locations. These are reef protection markers and when joined with an imaginary line they designate a no anchoring area to protect the delicate fringing reefs from anchor damage. If you need to anchor, anchor outside the line of reef protection markers and try to find a sandy or muddy patch away from coral. When pulling up anchor, motor towards it. If the anchor's stuck, motor the vessel above the anchor and slightly ahead before pulling it up. Obviously though, if public moorings are provided and available, they are a far easier option. We've provided them for you to enjoy the beauty of the Great Barrier Reef more easily while protecting what you've come to experience and enjoy. If you'd like to know more about the system of public mooring and reef protection markers in place along the Great Barrier Reef, look out for these free brochures and check out the website. You'll find heaps of downloadable maps, including GPS locations of all public moorings. This way you'll stay safe and enjoy your time out on the water.